The barbell back squat may be the best multi-joint exercise for developing lower body muscles including the quads, hamstrings, glutes, and even your calves. But there are several reasons why incorporating the front squat into your leg training can be beneficial in both the short and long term. For example, individuals experiencing knee pain or lower back pain when back squatting may be better served performing a front squat instead. So this 2008 study by Gullett et al conducted a biomechanical comparison between the front and back squat and looked at the forces they placed on the knee joint and they found that the front squats place less compressive force on the knee joints making the front squat a better choice for lifters experiencing knee problems so another interesting finding in the study was that muscle activation was similar between the front and back squat group and the reason this is interesting is that the max weight that the lifters were able to use on the front squat was between 30 and 40 pounds less than the back squat while lifting heavy is important so you can get stronger and build more muscle over time, it can be problematic if you have pre-existing injuries. But even if you are healthy right now, replacing some of your back squats with front squats is a good way to help preserve your lower back and your joints. So one of the main reasons that the front squat is just healthier for your lower back is that you're in a more upright position. As you can see with the picture on the far right, which is a low bar back squat position, there's a much greater trunk lean, which means that your body is leaned a lot more forward, which is gonna put a lot more pressure on your lower back. So being in this more upright position can help prevent any possible lumbar injuries. So if you're someone who's been back squatting for a while and you feel like you have nagging injuries that just don't wanna go away, then I would recommend switching out your back squat for the front squat and just doing that for several training blocks. If on the other hand, you just want a way to incorporate both back squats and front squats in your leg training, then I would recommend using your back squats for your heavy training days or say if you have a power lifting day or some sort of strength training day. And then on your second leg training day where you're doing more high rep, hypertrophy, high volume work, then I would recommend using the front squat for that. This way, you can hopefully prevent any overuse injuries from using the same movements over and over again. So I hope you guys like that. Um, it's definitely not one of those go hard or go home videos, but more one of those let's be smart, take one step back so we can take multiple steps forward in the future. Nothing gonna stop your progress um, like an injury. So the background story behind all this is that I injured my right knee, um, squatting of course, and you know I pretty much made it up to 305 and squatting that for several reps and that's when I hurt my knee. And when I built up to 305, it was pretty much all just low bar back squatting. So had I been doing, you know, maybe front squats on my high rep work and only doing low bar squats on my, on my heavier days, maybe I wouldn't have got hurt. Um, but who knows, right? Just give front squats a try. I've been doing a lot more now and I really feel, you know, good as far as like thoracic um, extension. I really feel like it's helping my posture. It actually feels like it's helping my back squats now. So the approach that I'm taking is like the, the second approach that I mentioned in the video where I'm doing back squats um, for my heavy strength training and I'm using front squats for my high rep hypertrophy work. You know, as always, subscribe, like, comment below. Let me know if you have any suggestions and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.